I'm here with O, artist extraordinaire. O, talk to me, my man. Hi. What are, what are some of these pieces? What inspired them? I had a dream in 1986 that I was in the ocean and it was everyone that had ever been alive, was alive or would be alive. Just waves of breaking faces. I sensed, sold like a ton of them, would go to dead shows and people loved them. I failed out of art school so when I went to the first dead show in Madison Square Garden, I was making a thousand bucks a day selling people the ocean wave of people. I thought hmm, maybe I could be self-employed and just sell my art. Anyway, the ocean wave of people evolved into 2,000 faces and now over 3,000. It's 3,200 famous and infamous people. And they're all people that the people told me to put in. GFY, of course, is uh, inspired by Dick Cheney's famous quote to Patrick Leahy on the center floor. I think he said it to a few people. Dick liked uh, F-bombs as much as he liked real bombs. Both the Congress and the Senate are engaged in a corporate gangbang with the lobbyists right now. They don't represent the people by a long stretch. They pretend to. They get out and talk about how absurd and how socialist single-payer health care or a government option is when that is what they themselves enjoy as members of the Congress and the Senate. Democracy uh, is my most famous piece. It got international press. I did it in 2003. Uh, and it just seemed to express at that moment what had happened in our country. We pretty much, we got hijacked. Our war on ter terror couldn't have been more purposefully designed to create a circular argument, a circular argument of violence that never ends. What's the issue that matters to you most right now? Primary issue relevant to me being an artist um, is being able to engage in free commerce. I think one, one of the ways that might make a difference is if Walmarts, uh, or as I like to call them, Hormarts, um, opened up an aisle or two to products made within 100 miles of their stores. That would be huge, and I think a great honor to Sam Walton, who uh, took pride in Made in America at one time or another. Any community that invests in providing space for artists, for every dollar they spend on attracting artists to that community, that community will get back eight dollars. Then Google it, there's studies have been done. You, uh, bring artists to your community. This was inspired by his quote, I am not a perfect man, which was bouncing around my head. He said, I'm not a perfect man, I will not be a perfect president. And I thought, well, that's profound. And way to, you know, cover your bases in case things go to hell. The sanitation workers in Selma, when King was shot, had these signs that said, I am a man. So I thought I'd try to connect I am a man with I am not a perfect man. And that began this journey. This is the civil rights movement. These are all Obama rallies. He said he wanted to be surrounded by people of opposing political views. These are protest images from across the political spectrum. And I built it around an image of him announcing that he was running for president. Pulled every image out of Google image search, by the way, so no books were harmed in the making of this. When the Senate voted to deregulate the banks, only seven or eight senators, I think it was, uh, voted against it. So any of this finger point now about, you know, look at what the Republicans or Democrats are doing in Bush, and, you know, socialist Obama, it's nonsense. I did a whole series of women like this. I love the hard lines of the blinds on the curves of the woman. And for me, it's as simple as it is. I see it as man's transition into nature. I can almost see the continents and the oceans of the world on her body. I never go and see the bands, and they never come and see me. In all the years I've been doing this, hundreds of dead shows, hundreds of festivals, I almost never see the music. What are these people thinking? Don't they know there's an art exhibit going on out here?